Hey guys and welcome to another episode of Behind the Closed Doors and in Emmeloord the weather is fine and today we have the workshop cosplay. Okay today the workshop cosplay with our model Norena and this is one of those workshops that I teach for two different reasons. One it's a very very cool workshop and two it's like running a marathon. If you run a marathon without any training you won't succeed but if you had training it's a lot easier. And it's the same thing with photography. If you do cosplay, you are forced to go to the limit. You are really forced to find creativity in lighting, in smoke, in props, in what not more. And that will really benefit you when you have a normal photo shoot with, for example, a problem to get some extra mood. Knowing your cosplay will really help even in a family portrait. So really looking forward to today. It's going to be fun. And of course, Chewy and Anna Week are also here. Okay, now let me explain that a little bit better about running that marathon. Now, photography is all about controlling your lighting, but most of all, getting a nice atmosphere in your shot. You don't want a picture where you just see a model standing in front of a great backdrop, right? It can be cool, but it's not something where you go like, wow, that really excites me as a photographer or as a viewer. You want something that engages you, that gives you a little bit more of that feeling of, wow, there's a story going on, and there's something interesting. By shooting cosplay, you are literally focused in on capturing the character, because it's all about characters, right? Batman, Superman, superheroes or fantasy figures. So you already have to learn yourself to dive a little bit into that character role, but also you have to learn to get your lighting a little bit more expressive. For example, a comic looks a certain way. When you look at Batman, it's really dark film noir. So when you shoot something like that, you should also master that technique for that film noir technique. And that's something that comes in really handy when you do, for example, a family portrait and they want something else. Or, for example, if you do a headshot and they want something else. It's the standard stuff like uh, um, photos for your license or whatever. That, that's easy. You just follow the rules and that's it. But to create something unique in a picture, to create something that really motivates people to find their own story, that's a totally different thing. And that's what in cosplay it's actually all about. It's all about creating a mood, creating that character, but also creating something that people who know, for example, Batman, will immediately say, hey, that's Batman, I love that look. And that can be pretty challenging. And the cool thing is, now today we do it, of course, in a cosplay setting. So the images are extreme. You get maybe smoke, gels. Maybe you don't see the face of the model. Maybe you only see... You know where I go? Everything is possible. In a family portrait or headshot, you're way more limited. And that's when all the techniques you use in, for example, creativity and styling, uh, light of the old masters... Um, alternative light, mixing light sources with strobes or using modeling lights, all those techniques, they get into that little, well, bag that you have on your shoulders and you can always grab something out like, hey, this is something cool, I need film noir, grab it out. And that's something that's important. A lot of photographers, they focus on what they do. I'm a headshot photographer. I only need to learn about headshots. Now, if you're a headshot photographer, it's really important that you know something about getting into the character of somebody because you shoot somebody that's a CEO totally different from somebody that's for example working in stock or working in transport or maybe teaching so all those people have different functions and of course you want to make sure that they also purvey that look I hope that's the correct English word so that's what today is all about building character mood and atmosphere in a shot so let's start the workshop. Chu is already very enthusiastic as you here. So that means that the students are coming in. I'm going to close this and let's go behind the scenes in Behind the Closed Doors, the workshop cosplay. You're going to love it.
Okay guys, and that was the workshop cosplay with Norena. Isn't she awesome? Now, one of the things that we always do during cosplay is of course, making sure that you get the mood in the pictures. Now, when you look at all the images that we shot today, you can see that the lighting setup is a little bit different, but there's always that little bit of accent light. And I think in my case, that's something that I really prefer. Because that accent light, you can give a little bit of color with the gel, or you can use lens flares, but that accent light is very important in the photography that I do. It also makes it possible that I can create a little bit more tension by moving my main light a little bit more to the side, because the accent light will take care of a little bit of light on that darker side. So in essence, two strobes, one main light, one accent light, and from there you can just build everything up with smoke, gels, maybe a third strobe or a fourth strobe or a fifth strobe, whatever you want to do. I hope you enjoyed this behind the scenes look. I did give a little bit less explanation than normally, but you can see everything in the video. See you again next time. If you like what we do, subscribe to our channel, leave comments below, smash that like button because we really like that. But most of all, tell other people about our channel so we can grow. See you again next time. Bye guys. Thank you.